Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series of Material Science and Engineering. This is your first chapter that is Basic Concepts of Material Science and Engineering and in this lecture we will see a mild introduction of this particular subject that is what is this subject all about. So we know that engineering materials constitute the foundation of technology. Therefore, it is necessary to understand how materials behave like they do and why they differ in properties. So we are basically focused on these engineering materials because this is actually the base and the foundation of every technology that you pick up. Whatever technology is available in the market, every technology is based on these engineering materials. So it is of course quite necessary to understand how these engineering materials behave and how they work. What are the differ difference in their properties such that we could alter the properties and we could create some new materials and we could develop some new materials and improve the properties and lead the foundation or improve the foundation of the technology in a more better way. The combination of physics, chemistry and the focus on the relationship between the properties of a material and its microstructure is actually the domain of material science. So what is telling? The combination of physics, chemistry and the focus on the relationship between the properties of a material and its microstructure is the domain of material science. Fine. So important components of the subject material science are structure, properties, processing and performance. So these are the four important components of this particular subject that we are going to study material science. So if you see this diagram carefully, so I can show this with a triangular diagram. So we have some different components, one structure, then we have properties and then processing. So what we are doing is we are studying the structure, we are studying properties, we are studying processing, how the processing of the materials is being done. Why? Just in order to improve the performance of that particular material and carry on the technological development that we have. So for the ease of understanding material science can be broadly classified under two disciplines. So this subject is quite very vast. So what we will do is we will classify this material science subject into the sub disciplines. So this subject called material science and engineering is classified under two different categories. One we have is material science and the other category we have materials engineering. You know the difference between science and engineering. I hope you know the difference between science and engineering. Science is what? Science is basically the study of the, f the things which are actually existing from the nature, right? And engineering means we do some processing in order to improve the performance or bring some creativity into that. Science is actually you can say that whatever is available in the nature. So how wh why is it available? How is it available? We need to study in the under that and engineering means we engineer things. We just transform or bring some changes into that. So basically the creativity lies in this particular part. So material science deals with the section of the study in which you don't have that much of creativity. Whatever is there that simply you need to discover it and simply you need to identify what is available. So we'll see a formal definition for this material science. So it deals with the investigating the existing relationship between the structures and the properties of materials. So material science is a subject which deals with investigating the existing relationship between the structure and properties of materials. So here you don't have that much of freedom of doing some changes. Whatever is there available naturally that is already there. Simply you need to discover it and you need to study certain phenomena that how is it happening, what is there and so on. And material engineering what you do it means to engineer the structure of the materials to produce a predetermined set of properties. So here we bring some creativity and we bring some changes and we engineer the structure. We change the structure of the materials to produce a predetermined set of properties. So material science comprises of the structure and the properties and your material engineering consists of processing and performance. 
I hope that difference between this material science and material engineering is clear to you because in many universities and many uh, organizations you'll find this department material science department or material science center you will find another department called department of materials engineering or metallurgical and materials engineering so i hope today you got a full clarity that what is actually the difference between these two departments or these two subjects or these two centers so once again so this material science consists of the functions which deals with the structure and the properties and materials engineering deals with processing and performance I hope it is clear to you. Fine. So see you in the next lecture. Till then, bye.